Okay. Now, I'm going to break down the steps how to solve. Well, how to solve. Well, I'm not solving it yet or doing it yet. I'm trying how to break it down step by step. So, on my right, you see these. We had to um, S through A, B. On my right side column, you can see here are numbers representing these letters. Answer is in the bottom column, and this column here. So, all I wanted to do is put the answers below the letters below the numbers over here are given letters because these letters represents the whole entire puzzle here and there are 10 of them so it's a 10 word or a 10 phrase a phrase with 10 letters so it's a 10 a word with 10 letters in it or a phrase with 10 letters in it I don't know so in order for me to solve this I had to break it down step by step by steps in my own how to break in my own personal belief I can break it down by first what each um, I think I break up to two steps multiplication multipl <laughs> multiplication I'm sorry with my broken English because that's how it is in the hood broken English and <laughs> multiplication and subtraction I'm going to start by doing multiplications first how to type multiplications first then how to type how to do multiplications first and by doing this I start a put a green line on this form here okay now I'm breaking to uh, multiplication and subtraction this is what it looks like at the bottom okay let me just give you an extra boost or something yeah it looks like this limb times a is limb limb times L is whatever what number represents this phrase here limb times e is this phrase for the dirt for a second so I you figure it out limb times s is r n r a n okay the star right here in each one of them is means times multiplication x whatever dot whatever that saves me a lot of time okay it's underneath this column here where the I told you about the long division word problem and the, uh, <laughs> sorry the clues here and now we go straight down to this here which is subtraction um, we you see the words s well this phrase s n e a i came from here from sneaker and it's a top of limb so what this means is s n e a minus l i m b equals r l a n 
That's the answer. After you understand R A L N, take this R A L N and put it right here, which is R A L L N K, which is this right here. You following now? And you subtract N. A N N N A R. It will give you R S I I. And it goes. And when you did with R A S I I, you had to put this R S I I right here, and add an E, which, once again, it's like long division, but with letters. And it gives you, give you, and you have to remind us R B E A E. It gives you B R S M. Right here, the B R S M. Finally, when you finish with that, and understand what it what they represent, you go to B R S M. Then you drop an R. That's the fi fourth final problem. And you subtract that to R N R A N, which gives you L B N L. That is subtraction. What above it is multiplication. So let me just less. This is how it looked like. This red column here is that you. This is the first problem above it. This is the first problem, and this is how I tried to solve this puzzle from the book. I used the graph paper so many times, so many, about a few years and stuff like that, and you had to figure out manually by. Find the clues and you know, everything like that. Oh. The biggest thing you have to do is on here that you don't have to use a paper or pen or ink because it costs you a lot of money. By pen, paper, ink costs you a lot of that, and I don't know, you could want to make a graph or something like that, or a bar graph, or what you ever do with spreadsheets with Google, you can draw or paint or things. I, I like to do this. Really, I like to do this. Because it shows you how easy it is to put on computer instead of a paper. Now, that's how you type word arithmetic slash math, word math, into a computer. Everything I told you, you only had to do is copy the word problem. Let me just layer it down to 100 for a minute. All you have to do is copy the word problem. Okay, and break it down. And understand the clues. The clue right here on the right. First, the clues. There are 10 syllables. And you have to decide which of these letters. Okay. these letters right here I'm highlighting these letters and place them into these these original 
numbers. I'm not changing the numbers, I'm changing the letters. And all I had to do is put the each is to find which of these letters corresponded with these numbers. You getting me? Just put what you have to do is like how to solve it, you have to put a number down there. If you do it man if you do a graph paper I, you can just go ahead and use a graph paper, but if you do it in Google Sheets, I think you should do it manually. Cause I don't know the formula or the basics of the how to use it use a formula and all that stuff. You have to do it manually. Say if I put a number here like um and make sure you highlight the number it be like um zero and you put or two or four I, I, I'll give you an example let's put zero instead of the and you go zero you put L and you put the letter L make sure to capitalize it if L equals to zero but L is not equal to zero in this puzzle not not saying it should but L is not equal to zero I'm just telling you it, how to do it by typing it and or L is equal to four and you put the letter L in four if you think this is the answer I'm going to teach you how to solve world equation, um, what this problem manually in the not future. I'm just telling you how to type and how to put word arithmetic, word math into Google's. I say Google Sheets more likely because if you want to try Google Excel stuff, those who have subscription. But I want to do this for free. I'm saying that it's better to do it for free, other than waiting, buy all kinds of stuff with with with, uh, you, with Windows, and I'm using Windows computer. But I do not feel like buying Excel or Word. And, you know, when the, all the subscription, all that stuff. Much more my spies. They use Cliff Paint Student. I, I'm using Cliff Paint Art or whatever. Cliff Paint Studios. It was for free for one time only. One time purchase. They going up. They going make changes about the uh, Cliff's Studio Paint. Yeah, I I, I all a one time purchase. But they going to change next year about that. Um, I'll talk about it another time. Anyway, is that's how I do a work. That's I should supposed to be doing. I've been doing this from a graph paper. It's work problems from a graph paper. Sometimes I do cryptograms from a graph paper. I use that, and sometimes I make mistakes. If there is a mistake, I can erase it and all that stuff. You use paper and pencils, but I think that this is better choice for me. Uh, Google Sheets. If you want to do a math problem and all that stuff. And next video, I'm going to show you how to solve and solve like this puzzle, word puzzle. Program, uh, word puzzle, which is called Word Arithmetic and or Word Math manually. And you had to come thinking around your head what number is corresponded to these letters or what letters correspond to these numbers. So I can at tell you one, I'm going to show you once again. 
what I said. If I if I equals to zero, if if you solve one of the problems, if I equals to zero, then you have to put that I on zero. This is not. It's this is the if, not is or it if. If I is zero. So this is a word problem. Just, you only have to do is count them to zero to nine. That's ten places. Zero to nine. Then these letters are substituted. For, these letters right here are substituted from zero to nine. All you have to do is find find the correct substitute or correspond it to each other they may spell out the word or words and that words might be the answer so what I do is break down the problem break down this first it's the clues and the answers that's what it is in the red or at the bottom of the numbers so this little here it means numbers uh, which is a pound key or shift plus three to get the pound key or pound um, that means numbers so you had to find this number for each of them which number it corresponded or which substitute which these ladders substitute one of these numbers one by each and you had to solve quickly because by breaking it down by limbs times a equals limb and that's how you do the multiplication first. Limb times A equals limb. This is gonna be a clue. Now now I'm I'm just telling you how to type how it is. And how it looks like uh, about fifty it looks like this in fifty. It looks like this. If you magnify this shit, zoom it to 50, and it looks like this. But you can't see it first. I go to 100, and it kind of like looks like this. Okay, so that's how you input, put, um, or type this into a word type this word problem word arithmetic and put it on a computer because I am tired using graph paper or pencils and pens whatever you want to do pencils and pens are important for other stuff but in here you if you want to do puzzles or games I'll suggest pick up a book for Buzz Noble and uh, get a copy of your own and instead of and my belief instead of using Microsoft Excel use Google Sheets because it's a free so free type of thing I'm have a Google, I have a Google account with it, and this is a free kind of thing. All I want to do is do a puzzle for a simple way. I may talk about cryptograms and all that stuff, or how it represents how these puzzles things. Just get a book of math. Well. Dell 
uh, or penny press puzzle books because this is what you had to buy and understand the clues of it so that's well that's what I'm about to say I'm about to sign off in the next video I will show you how to solve word arithmetic and I'm starting by using I'm gonna show you how to solve this